after familiarizing the polar array, let's now proceed to the rectangular array. So for us to be able to do this and use that command, let's first create our object. So we have here a square with a dimension of 0.25 by 0.25. So since that is a small dimension, I know we're going to be, because this template is in mm, so let's just uh, zoom in. And I'll be using the polyline command so that I can create those inner rectangles later on using the offset command. So we have 0.25 by 0.25 by 0.25. And then just en uh, enter C to close the figure. Now let's offset this one with a 0 0.05 distance. So let's do offset 0 0.05 inner. Okay, so we have our squares. Now let's create this X mark. So the height of this X is a 0.12. So for us to be able to get that height, Let's create a construction figure. So for that, we have a height of 0.25 minus 0.12. That's 0.13 divided by 2. So we have a 0 0.065. So let's offset this one again. Offset 0 0.065. Inner. So we have this inner square. Let's create that X mark. Um, from corner to corner, enter, enter again, and then enter. So let's delete this square. So we have this X mark. Now the next thing to do is to create this circles. So the radius of this one is 0 0.05. So let's use the center radius command. This is 0 0.05, enter. So after creating our circle, let's um, copy this one for us to distribute in the corners of our of our square so that's here 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 and here now the next thing to do is to create this y thing so it has a height of 0 0.05 so let's create again. It's a 0 0.05. 0 0.05. 0 0.05. 0 .05, and then C. Close that one. Now let's create a diagonal so we can have our center point. Okay, enter. Let's create a diagonal. I mean... A vertical line and let's create another one here going to the upper right corner so next thing to do is just trim let's trim this one and this one and let's delete this okay so we have that already let's trim this part as well so let's trim this and this okay Now let's copy this one. So we have the snap to our center of our circle. There you are. Same with this one and this one. Okay, so we have our object. Now the next thing to do is to create our figure i'll just copy this object before we use our array command so we have to count the number of <coughs> excuse me so now we have to get the number of columns and rows for us to be able to input it later on our rectangular array command in our array, array creation so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 columns. While for the rows, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rows. 
So how to do the rectangular array. So you just highlight this, then choose rectangular array, and then you input the data here. So there are 15 columns, and there are 10 rows. Now the distances between our um, objects. So we know that the objects that we have has a distance of 0.25. So it, when we do the distance, it's from this point to this point, this point to this point, or this center to this center. That's how you do the spacing. So let's put 0 0.25 for the columns, spaces of our columns. See? It jived in. And for the rows, 0 0.25. And there you have it, our rectangular array. So, it's associative means it's as a group. If you don't want it, so you can edit singularly, you can do, uh, you can untick this one. So, I'll just close it. So, if you can go back to our figure, this one is a little bit smaller. So, for us to be able to make this smaller and to blow up this object, let's highlight this. And let's just use the scale. So let's make this a little bit smaller. Okay, that size I guess would do. Um, I think a 0.5 would be better, half of the size of this one. So let's move this closer. Move. A little bit closer. I was using the earth. Okay. This one. Now let's have the dimensions. So we are sure about this one. This is 0 0.25. This one's 0 0.25. This one is a 0 0.5. We also have the radius of this one, 0 0.05. Let's do the radius. What else are we missing? Let's move this a little bit here. Or let's just put it here instead. We're missing um, this one, the 0.5. So let's zoom in. So this one and this one. So we have this. Oops. It's getting our way. So let's edit this one. Let's edit our radius. We can just have it here or here. Okay. Now we have our uh, plate number 14.